Oxidation of an alcohol to form a carboxylic acid by kscience.com. When ethanol reacts with oxygen, they react to form ethanoic acid and water. This is an oxidation reaction as ethanol is reacting with oxygen. So this is a ball and stick model of ethanol, C2H5OH, where these are the two carbon atoms and this is the OH functional group with the remaining hydrogen atoms covalently bonded to the two carbon atoms. And this ball and stick model represents the oxygen molecule, O2, which has a double covalent bond between the two oxygen atoms. This blue arrow shows how in a chemical reaction, the oxygen molecule collides with the OH functional group. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. The oxygen molecule colliding with the OH functional group causes the two hydrogen atoms to be removed. So this collision causes two hydrogen atoms to be removed. The diagram shows us how one of the oxygen atoms from the oxygen molecule has formed a double covalent bond with the carbon atom. This has formed ethanoic acid, CH3COOH. So we can see how this carbon atom, which lost two hydrogen atoms, has now formed a double bond with an oxygen atom. This is how an ethanol molecule is oxidized. Let's not forget a water molecule is also formed. Water is H2O. And this remaining oxygen atom forms two covalent bonds with these two hydrogen atoms, forming H2O. So the hydrogen atoms removed from ethanol combine with an oxygen atom to form water. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. So building on what we've just learnt, an alcohol can react with an oxidizing agent to form a carboxylic acid and water. For example, ethanol can react with potassium dichromate 6 solution to form ethanoic acid and water. And this is the balanced symbol equation where the capital O oxygen in brackets represents the oxidizing agent. To carry out this experiment, we need a Bunsen burner, a test tube, and a bung with a delivery tube attached at the top of the test tube. The reacting mixture goes inside the test tube, which is alcohol and acidified potassium dichromate 6 solution. So the Bunsen burner is used to heat the reacting mixture, where the heat from the Bunsen burner causes the alcohol and acidified potassium dichromate solution to boil. The reacting mixture boils. The delivery tube is connected to another test tube which is in a container of ice. So when the reacting mixture is heated and boiled, the ethanoic acid evaporates and flows into the test tube where the ice causes the carboxylic acid to condense. So the carboxylic acid condenses and is collected. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Pause the video here to practice the keywords. The answers will follow. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes.
And don't forget to visit kscience.com for more videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.